Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, March 29th. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. At the heart of your reading, we have the chariot. Alignment with your higher purpose, feeling like you have wind in your sails, like things are moving forward in a positive direction. What's the challenge here for Scorpio? Two of Cups reversed. Um, you're either moving on from a relationship that didn't work out, or you might be disheartened by the lack of a relationship in your life. Like feeling like, okay, this is great. I'm really moving forward and things are positive, but the absence of a relationship might be looming large in your heart. Like, I just wish I had someone to share this experience with. Your focus is on attracting love into your life, Queen of Cups. You, Queen of Cups is a lovely way to express that energy as well because you are feeling good about yourself. You don't need a partner to complete you. You feel whole. You would like to be able to share your love with someone else. In the recent past, we have the Two of Pentacles. So the energy of being uh, ha really having your hands full, being very busy. What was Scorpio prioritizing between? On the one hand, Ten of Pentacles. On the other hand, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, can we say money focused? Okay. The distinction between the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is, do I want to be successful on my own? Be independent, be single, enjoy, um, being able to make all my own decisions? Or do I want to build that out to include other people? Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is the level of abundance where you have a partner in life. You have a family if you want a family. It goes beyond just the self. So money isn't an issue for you. The absence that you feel in your life is love. Someone to, to give and receive love with. Show me the energy of the environment is the Page of Pentacles. Learning something new. What is Scorpio learning? King of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords in Reverse makes swift decisions. Doesn't think too long about what to do. Is certain that his instincts are going to cause the correct decision. So I wonder if what spirit is wanting you to learn from this situation is how to make more confident decisions. 
not overthink things, not have to, have to listen to every opinion out there before you decide what you want to do. It's like the energy of being more decisive with less information is what spirit wants for you. The near future, we have the hanged man in reverse. Well, if you, if you do have something in mind right now that you're mulling over, that you're like, all right, I need to look at this from another angle. I, there's, there's something I still don't understand about it. That could be precisely what we're getting at with the King of Swords, because the hanged man energy is like, I have this one topic and I, I can't pay attention to anything else until I fully explore everything there is to know about this topic. The hanged man in reverse is letting that energy go, either because you've learned everything you had to learn and now that perspective has been crystallized and you're ready to apply it, or I'm suspecting, like we were picking up on with this king of swords in reverse, because there are other things that need your attention. Spirit might be saying, okay, Scorpio, you know enough about this thing now. Just decide and move on. I do see you moving on from whatever is holding your interest at the moment. Show me surprise energy. Scorpio, we have lovers in reverse, the seven of swords, and death in reverse. This is either ghosting or cheating. I don't have any context for this. This is some this is a, a point off the curve. This is a totally different topic coming in here. Some sort of secretive behavior feels a little shady between a romantic connection that isn't very serious or isn't going to work out. in the midst of a massive change, death in reverse. Well, you're already moving on from a relationship. You're making a choice surrounding your material abundance. If you haven't decided whether or not to break up with this person, I think this is you deciding to ghost them, just sneak away and not contact them anymore. For some of you, I'm also getting that you're in an unhappy relationship. and you might explore options outside of the relationship without breaking up. Let's see. Uh, there's a possibility that you'll find out your partner is doing so. There's, a, there's that possibility as well, because it does come as a surprise. 
Your hopes and fears. We have Nine of Wands in reverse, Hierophant in reverse. This is a hope and a fear. This is the uh, giving up on the relationship. Interesting. I wasn't reading it that way. Honestly, I... It seemed like you're quite focused on pulling new energy in. Until these cards came out, I didn't realize that we're still talking about someone being in your life. This could be hopeful that you're looking for an opportunity to exit the relationship. The end result, we have an argument. Five of Swords. How does the argument resolve? Four of Cups. Um, someone just doesn't engage. Someone approaches the other with frustration, anger, and the other person just doesn't react, doesn't engage, ignores. This reading really took a turn, you guys. Let's see your advice. How can Scorpio work with these energies for your highest and best good? Explore other options. Seven of Cups says there's a, there are other things out there for you that are more fulfilling. Um, it's time to take a look in a new direction. So this King of Swords, Hanged Man energy could be whatever it is you're focusing on is the wrong thing. You're meant to look up from that because new opportunities are going to be presenting to you. And one of these can hold the key to your emotional fulfillment in the future. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.